Welcome back friends. Today I'm excited because today is my first day using Wanda Studio. I've been granted access. I've been like <laughs> waiting in the blocks like a horse race. You know, waiting to do it. I'm like, come on guys, give me access. So fortunately I was able to get access to it. And uh, I'll show you real quick how to what it looks and how to use it uh, from my perspective. So once I've logged in, I just click on login here and then it takes me into Wanda, uh, Wanda Dynamics website, uh, ap.wandadynamics.com. And uh, this is the interface. This is what you see. The, this is what you're going to be seeing the first time you get access. And as you can see, up here is my name. And then it says close beta, right? It's a very simple interface. Nothing really uh, difficult to understand. So you know, on one area is are the projects. And I wanted to show you this real quick because there are different stages. You know, once you've uploaded your project or you've created a project and you uploaded your videos, then it goes through several stages. One, once you first upload it, it's going to start preparing the project. And then the second stage is about video preparation. So it will prepare the video. And then depending on how long your video is, it's going to vary in length. So this one is already in the tracking actors stage. This one is the video production uh, preparation. And this one is in the preparation of the project. So here, this one is a longer video. So it's going to be about 140 minutes. This one is a fairly short video. And it's going to take about 42 minutes. And this one is uh, 49 minutes estimated. So we're going to see the different uh, tests that I'm doing. One with a uh, fighting, uh, sports related, and then also just a simple camera being tracked across where the actor is in the center. Right. But how do you get started? First, there's the template section. You could play with this. You can click one of these to check it out. Like for example, if I click on the river one, and you can use this if you want. And it will tell you the details about the project, this uh, template project. Uh, it's a long lens, tracking shot, and means that a character is going to be in frame for most of the time. And let's look at this other template. As a nature hike, it's also like a tracking this character <laughs> with a robot head. <laughs> it looks so cool. And then there's this uh, canyon exploration character. Again, it's also like a center character being tracked in the frame. Um, so... For now, today, I'm not doing a template. I don't want to use a template. Uh, and then it looks like the, you're going to have access to your own assets. And these are the videos that I've added so far. Yeah, so every time you add a video, it's going to go into your assets folder over here, including your own characters. And then community is still coming and marketplace is coming. So this is exciting because that means people are going to be able to sell their own models that are going to be used in here. This is, I think, this awesome way of using AI, right? Because imagine if I had like a really cool video that I want to sell that people can repurpose and it's, it's a good way for people to get their feet wet in this project. I like the commerce part of it. This opens up the opportunity for artists, 3D artists and animators for that. Maybe you have prepared your own character that is ready for facial animation and full body. It's awesome, right? So, and then let's go back to, that's that's really it. And then you have the tutorials and then you have the character uh, creation guidelines. This is very important because if you want to have your character have facial animation, for example, these are the facial blend shapes that you're going to need, right? These are standard across the industry. So the 52 blend shapes for AR kit are similar to this, right? And let's see, these ones are, I think, way more than 50. Let's see, count. Two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 24, no, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 
80, okay. <laughs> Over 80 blend shapes. That's what they're expecting. All right, so the typical 52, I don't know if I counted properly. Uh, if I missed them, I'll go back and count, but you're gonna need more than the 52 blend shapes for AR kit. I think that's what's gonna make the animation so much more convincing, right? And there's a whole uh, like guidance over here. Want us to do support facial performance through all these uh, these are the plan shift shifts that are derived from a fa facial action recording system, which has been widely adopted in the CG industry. Here are the links. Yeah. Okay. And then when you click on that, it will take you to here, which is again the description of all the. If you want to prepare your character, this is what you're gonna need to follow, right? So guys. If you want uh, to sell your characters and prepare for the marketplace part of it, this one right here, go ahead and jump ahead of this and start working on preparing your characters so that you have like, you know, these. This is really helpful. I love the visual guide. This is very helpful. All right. So anyway, these are the blend shapes that you're gonna need. And uh, it's exciting because I'm thinking of uh, Daz characters. I'm thinking of uh, character creator four characters that are gonna be able to be used in this platform. So that is uh, another way to bring in your characters. They have to be prepared the right way. And also there's a way that you have to, there's a script that you need for Maya. Let's go back to the top, right? Uh, Character preparation. Let me first go back here. Go to character guidelines one more time. So there's an example character for Blender here. There's an example character for Maya right there. And then there's uh, the script that you need in Maya to export the character. So um, I hope that the this is not just uh, for Maya that will be able to be exported from DAO Studio and from Character Creator 4. But then again, if you have Maya, you can always send that character to Maya and then export using that script. Okay. And then you can go to the documentation here, the requirements, for example, in Maya. You can see the different, the, the quick start story. So this is very helpful because now you get a sense of what the character needs to look like in order to be used in one of the dynamics and how you get to upload your character. So this is so, so helpful. I'm gonna go through and actually see if I can create a custom character and, and uh, upload and show you the whole process. Anyway, let's go back. So if you go to my projects again, uh, you start off by creating a new project. By the way, this is exciting. This is like making progress over here. <laughs> so let's create a new project. And uh, it's gonna be live action, or it's gonna automatically animate light and compose CG characters into live action scene. So let's continue. So I'm wondering if this is gonna be also updated to include CG scenes, not just you know live action scenes. So you could essentially create your own uh, sequence of uh, CG characters and then replace them with uh, you know the models that are in here. So let's continue. And I'm just gonna name this one. Uh, solo fight, press enter, and then just click one time here to load your videos. And let me go to videos over here and let's load, which one can I use? Let's use this one. So once the video is loaded over here, you can then drag and drop it on the timeline over here. It's gonna be spread out. Even though sometimes you see like a black frame, depending on the video, this is uh, just a, a preview. And so you can see the characters. So if I need to pick a character, I mean an actor, you have to find a frame that has probably all your characters that are in that specific video. <laughs> so I have several of these. And then we're gonna need to scan the video for characters. So you click for actors, next. Scan frame for actors. And it's gonna go through and scan the video. Depending on how many they are, you might just do it in a quick, like. <laughs> all right, so it has actually identified all the actors in this video. It's incredible. This is an online platform. 
All right, so let's pick this uh, one right here. And you can do multiple actually. And then when you're ready, just uh, expand this and look at which character you wanna use, right? So for this one, let's say we want to replace with uh, maybe, I don't know. Which one you guys, would you guys pick? <laughs> I'm looking for a fun one. I'm actually excited to be able to add like my own characters here. And then these are all new ones that are coming. This is from Aaron Sims Creative. These are so cool, right? This is really cool. Okay, I want to use, let's use the desert bot. <laughs> he looks like he, he looks great. Assign him. And so it's, once he's assigned, the next part is then for you to render. So go click on render and you get to choose between 720 to 1080 to uh, 4K is not yet available. So input video has to be high enough. Input video resolution is too low for 4K output. Okay, so the, if your original video is not like high enough, it won't be able to get to 4K. So probably if the uh, video is uh, maybe 4k you can be able to output 4k uh, but the one that i put in there i think was 1920 by 1080 so already they're saying that's not uh, <laughs> enough so you can also choose 1080 but i'll use 720 because it's gonna be probably faster i want an mp4 you can also do png sequences if you want uh but for and then you can do prores which is like uncompressed like really good quality you can match the source the original video uh for now we'll do mp4 and I'm always interested in the uh, mock-up, the AI that comes out of that. And I want the blender scene and also a clean plate in alpha masks. So the character pass is not yet ready. Camera track is not yet ready. And then you start processing. And so now you can see it has added it to the in progress. So it doesn't seem like to penalize you if you have like several projects going at the same time. So you could, they are, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that they have super computers out there that can handle simultaneous projects, right? So this is good. Like if you have multiple scenes that you want to process, you don't have to wait for one scene to be done. You can just queue them up. And so I'm not, I'm not sure exactly how they're gonna decide because this one came for, uh, before this one. And it's uh this one, so you can see the difference. This is the the first one I did was uh three minutes ago, two minutes ago, and then a few seconds ago, and you can see the difference in time, right? But I think the length of the video. Oh, this one just jumped to thirty five, so it's cleaning up the motion capture. This one is still tracking the actors, and this one is capturing facial performance. Oh, so th get this, guys. If your video has facial performance and your character supports it, it looks like then you can actually add that to the, it's, it's gonna be part of the performance. So that is awesome, but the character has to be, uh, it has to support that uh, ability to have facial performance. So not, or not all the characters, like when you first go to the homepage, not every single one of these characters supports facial animation. So for example, Sandy here supports facial animation right? And uh, let's see, Bob, Bob cannot talk. <laughs> Bob is silent type. So he doesn't support. And then the dummy robot has no facial animation. And you can clearly see that he's really not uh, modeled to be like that. He has like, I see a mouth, but the jaw doesn't look like it could like, open. Uh, this one for sure wouldn't have facial animation. You couldn't do the facial animation separately, like on a video track or something that you can then put on the face. Uh, organic hard surface. And so like he would have special, special, partial facial support. Yeah, so this one wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to do like full facial animation. I think the one that has a full facial animation is uh, my, this one Sandy character, right? And I believe, let's see, Sam. And he works best with smaller actors. Okay. <laughs> so those are things to keep in mind. So ultimately, I think we all want to have custom characters that we can use because soon everyone that is testing is going to be limited to these and this is what you're going to see. But 
the awesome thing is that we're going to be able to add our own custom characters and that's where this whole process of preparing the characters has been provided so you can actually create your own characters that are ready for use in uh, wonder dynamics and then now that what's left is uh, to wait for the project to be processed like these ones are being processed this one is preparing clean plates and so i think as you're preparing the project if all you want is just the video and you don't include like clean plates and actors and things like that it goes a lot faster right because that means that it's going to be it will be taking less time you won't do multiple passes but this is uh wonder dynamics guys uh this was it's my first day today of using this awesome awesome platform i'm excited to continue to show you what kind of technology this is it's incredible and it really is a, a one click <laughs> it's like a platform where you just saw me go through the process of uh adding actors and tracks the actors super quick oh my gosh this is definitely gonna change the way we do uh, our animations and our projects and uh, i can't for me i'm excited about uh, adding custom characters more than anything to see the quality that i'm able to get out of that and then also to test facial animation oh i'm gonna do that for sure you <laughs> can't wait so guys once these videos are finished uh tracking i'll be able to share them with you and uh, uh can't wait. <laughs> it's an awesome day for sure <laughs> awesome day and i i can't wait to see like what levels of uh like render quality that we are being provided i know this is gonna get better and better and uh what a day yeah and uh, this is artificial intelligence at its best i think this is really well i think this platform is helpful because i feel like as an artist there's still room for me to put something in here that i can create i can shoot footage that can be used in this particular thing. I can go back to being a storyteller using cinematography. So if you have a cell phone, if you have an old camcorder, this is your chance to pop them out and then just create a story, have your friends together, create a film, and then you'll be able to use it in this environment. So dare to dream big, guys, as always. Always please stay safe. Much love to you always, guys. Never give up on your dream. May we continue to use these technologies to tell our stories. Also, awesome this. Thank you so much, Wanda uh, Dynamics team, for granting me permission. I can't wait. This is like ah, <laughs> an exciting day. <laughs> oh, guys, thank you. If you're not to, if you're new to my channel, do please spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are alerted when I post a new video. What an awesome, awesome day! Bye for now and much love. See you later in the next video.